Since 1966, Vans has been creating some of the most iconic footwear ever made. From styles that have graced skateboarders to musicians and everyone in between, Vans is one of those brands you probably have a couple pairs of right now in your closet. And 56 years later, in 2022, Vans is still one of the most popular shoe brands out there. And because of that, I decided to count down the top 10 best Vans shoes that you can buy in 2022. What's up everybody? I'm Seth Fowler and I totally understand that this is completely different content than I usually drop. I guess it's not that different because it's still sneaker related, but as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for a while. I usually cover Nike sneakers, Jordan sneakers, Adidas, New Balance, and more hyped up brands. But I feel like I'm doing the sneaker community a disservice if I don't cover one of the most popular brands and one of my favorite personal brands, Vans. In fact, the reason that I decided to do today's video is because I just finished up reading Paul Van Doren's autobiography, Authentic. That book, as you probably could have guessed, is about his life and creating Vans, and it's one of the most interesting business stories I've ever read. But my love of Vans actually goes much deeper than that. In fact, in high school, for about three years, I worked at the Vans store in Maryland and I went to Warp Tour every single year. That was just one of those things that I love to do. And of course, I did all of those things while wearing pairs of Vans. And of course, I love Jordans, I love Nikes, and I'll always be a fan of those sneakers. But for me, it all kind of started with Vans. And so in today's video, I'm counting down the top 10 Vans that you can grab right now in 2022. In fact, I'll make sure to leave links to all of the Vans that I mentioned in today's video in the description below. And even if you don't have a love of the history of the brand or have never tried on a pair of Vans before, I definitely recommend checking them out because not only are they great looking shoes, but they're they're incredibly well priced. So without further ado, let's dive right into the top 10 Vans of 2022. Starting things off at number 10 is the Vans Skate High MTE2. So as you can probably tell just from the way that this shoe looks, this pair of Vans Skate High MTE2s is designed for the outdoors and surviving the elements. In fact, MTE actually stands for Made for the Elements. According to Vans, the MTE2 packs over 25 years of snowboarding boot history and technology into this design. And if you're already familiar with the brand, you might have noticed that the upper of this this shoe is essentially the upper of the skate high, at least that's what it looks like. Unlike a regular pair of skate highs, the MTE2s actually feature water repellent treated leather on the upper. In addition to that, the upper of this shoe also features Vans proprietary Prima Loft insulation system, making this shoe incredibly warm in colder temperatures. So not only are you staying warm in the MTE2s, you also should be staying dry. In addition to that, this shoe also switches out the classic Vans waffle sole for their brand new all track outsole. And like with a lot of the other shoes on this list, this sneaker features a comfy cushion midsole. I mean, if you're looking for a pair of durable, water-resistant, winterized, and warm boots that you can wear pretty much all year round, the Vans Skate High MTE2 is a great way to go. With that being said, all these benefits do come with the cost, and that's a retail price point of $130, which does make this the most expensive shoe on the list. But honestly, $130 for a winterized shoe that has this much tech inside of it is kind of a steal, especially when you compare it to really any other pair of sneakers out there, because most shoes cost more than $130. It's crazy, but it's true. Coming in at number nine, is the Vans Leather Lowland CC. So this shoe is sort of Vans take on one of the most popular sneaker styles out there, the low top leather sneaker. I mean, I'm sure you're familiar with the Air Force One Low and the New Balance 550 and the Adidas Forum Low and the Air Jordan One Low. There's a ton of other low top sneakers out there that are made of leather, and this is just Vans version of those shoes. And while this shoe might not carry the same sort of history that something like the Air Force One does, it is a very clean, lightweight sneaker that looks good with pretty much anything. Obviously, like most pairs of Vans, you can grab this shoe in a couple different colorways, so you're not just stuck with the all-white pair, but for me there's just something about this all-white leather upper accented by this light gray V. You've also got this really nice little hit of suede behind the light gray leather. It's just an all-around clean everyday sneaker. And when you pair that with Vans Comfy Cush in the midsole, this is one of those sneakers that matches with pretty much everything and is comfortable enough to wear all day. And coming in at a price point of just $85, this shoe is cheaper than just about all of the other low-top leather sneakers on the market. Next up at number 8 is the Vans Era. So the Vans Era originally released back in 1976 and was first called the Vans number 95. One of the most iconic wearers of the Vans era were the Z-Boys from Santa Monica who really popularized this silhouette. And what really makes this shoe special and separates it from the original Vans silhouette, the authentic, is the padded collar around the ankle. In fact, that change is why this shoe is so popular with skateboarders. And even now, to this day, in 2022, the Vans era is still one of the most popular silhouettes on the market. The Vans era comes with a canvas upper that features metal eyelets around the laces. And because this shoe features a couple more paneling details on the upper, than the authentic, it gives you more options to customize this shoe if you decide to personalize it online for yourself. And coming in at a price of just 55 bucks, the standard edition Vans Era is one of the best priced shoes on this list. It also comes in a comfy cush variant too for I think $5 more. Next up at number 7 is the Vans Ultra Range EXO. So as you could probably tell from the overall look of this shoe, the Vans Ultra Range EXO is pretty different than really any other kind of silhouette that Vans had put out before this. In fact, the idea for this concept came from one of Vans surfboarders who wore their pair 
pairs of Vans everywhere and wanted a pair of Vans that they could wear in any environment. I mean, I guess Waffle Souls weren't cutting it for him for every environment, like rocky beaches. So from there, the Vans Ultra range was born, and at the time, this was a completely new style of sneaker for Vans because it featured a co-molded midsole. And the foam that was used in the midsole had to be both comfortable, but also incredibly durable. Not only that, but the upper of the shoe was completely redesigned for much more breathability and a much more lightweight feel. However, it still kept the iconic Vans look with that classic jazz stripe across the midfoot. The upper of this shoe is a mixture of very lightweight and breathable mesh, as well as fuse overlay on the high wear areas. So if you're looking for a pair of comfortable all-terrain Vans that isn't the bulky and thick MTE2s, the Ultra Range XOs are an excellent way to go. And at just 95 bucks, the Ultra Range XO features a lot of the same technologies that you can find in much more expensive sneakers. Next up at number 6 is the Vans Skate High. First releasing back in 1978, the Vans Skate High was originally called the Vans Style 38. This skateboarding inspired sneaker comes with an upper that's a mix of canvas on the midfoot of the shoe and suede on the toe and on the heel, as well as one of my favorite details, the leather lined sock liner. The Skate High was originally designed to give wearers a little bit more ankle support with the higher top cut. And this padded supportive upper is complemented by the sticky rubber on the waffle outsole, which is great for skateboarding. And in a fun little bit of history, this shoe is actually the second Vans style ever to feature the iconic jazz stripe on the midfoot. Which by the way, if you didn't know, was just a doodle by Paul Van Doren that became one of the most iconic logos of all time. While the tech in the Van Skate High might not be as impressive as it was back in 1978, this is still an all around great shoe that looks incredible and is definitely a great lifestyle sneaker. And at just 70 bucks, I feel like you can't go wrong with this shoe and in a lot of ways this shoe competes with the Nike Blazer Mid and in my opinion, I actually kind of like it better. So I lost the next sneaker that we're talking about. I gotta find it, I'll be right back. Okay, I found it. It was by the front doors because I was wearing it. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's get into it. Following that up at number five is the Vans Half Cab. Created the same year I was, the Vans Half Cab originally released back in 1992. This 30 year old sneaker, wow, 30, that's depressing. 30 years. Okay, okay. okay. Wow. This Steve Caballero sneaker was originally designed by cutting the top half off of a Caballero Pro model because he felt like the shoe was a little bit too high. And that design choice not only made this shoe one of the best skateboarding shoes of all time, but one of the most interesting looking shoes of all time. This particular version of the shoe is the 30th anniversary version of the shoe which just released in 2022. And what I love about this shoe is that it goes back to the original shape of the half cab. Not only that, but this version of the half cab features the brand new skateboarding cushioning technology called Pop Cush. And coming in at a price of just $75, the Vans Half Cab is one of the most iconic, well-priced, and best skateboarding shoes available today. Also, I've got to mention and point out the incredible suede used on the 30th anniversary version of this shoe. For 75 bucks, you're getting some pretty incredible materials that look really, really good. In fact, this shoe is one of the reasons why I did this list, because I really wanted to grab a pair of these, so I grabbed them and then I decided to grab a couple other pairs. Uh, spent like 500 bucks, but it was worth it. <laughs> Next up at number 4 is the Vans Slip-On. First debuting in 1977, the same year as Star Wars, this shoe was originally called the Vans Style 98. The colorway that I have here is obviously the iconic Vans checkerboard pattern, which was actually created when Paul Van Doren saw a kid customizing his pair of Vans by drawing checkerboards on the midsole. The Vans Slip-On really hit its stride though in 1982 when Sean Penn's character wore this shoe in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. And since then, the popularity of the Vans Slip-On has skyrocketed, and this has become one of the most iconic sneakers of all time. The shoe itself features a primarily canvas upper, which of course does not have laces because it's a slip-on. In addition to that, you've got a padded collar area, which definitely makes this shoe more comfortable. And overall, this is one of those shoes that you can literally just slip on and slip off at any time. And for just 60 bucks, the Vans slip-on is a steal, and if you'd prefer, you can also get a comfy cush version of the shoe for $5 more. Speaking of comfy cush, at number 3, we've got the Vans Old School Comfy Cush. So at first glance, the Vans Comfy Cush Old Schools look very similar to a standard pair of Vans Old Schools. However, unlike the classic pair, this shoe features Comfy Cush in the midsole. And something that I found kind of interesting about the Comfy Cush Old School versus the standard Old School is that the Comfy Cush version is a lot lighter because presumably the foam in the midsole is a lot lighter. Now although the Comfy Cush version of the Old Schools is a little bit more comfortable than the standard version of the Old Schools, it's really only something that you notice after you've worn this shoe for a couple hours. However, even though this shoe is technically more comfortable than a standard pair of Old Schools, there are a couple things about it that I don't like as much. The first thing is that the midsole of this shoe is a little bit thicker. It's not that crazy noticeable but it's something that me as a Vans fan notices a lot. Not only that, this shoe does seem to have a bit more of a nose at the toe of the sneaker, which again, not really a huge fan of, but it's not a deal breaker. And the other difference is that the Comfy Cush version of the old schools is $5 more expensive than the standard version. So basically, if you prefer comfort over everything else, I definitely recommend getting the Comfy
comfy cush version of the old schools and for that matter the comfy cush version of any of the other van sneakers that offer comfy cush versions however if you prefer the original styling of the sneakers and don't really mind if the shoe isn't as soft underfoot then definitely go with the classic versions of those shoes however even though the comfy cush version of the old schools is more expensive than the standard version it still comes in at a retail price of just 70 bucks which in my opinion is still a steal coming in at number two is the vans authentic the vans authentic are the shoes that started it all originally called the number 44 deck shoes the vans authentics were the first shoes that vans released back in 1966 constructed primarily in canvas the upper of this shoe is incredibly simple and very minimalistic but with that being said it's one of the most iconic designs of shoe ever made plus because this design is so simple it allows for a lot of customizability especially if you're customizing the shoe on vans's website while the vans authentic is definitely the simplest and probably the cleanest of the entire vans lineup this shoe is one of those sneakers that i don't think will ever fade away because of how iconic this design is and how many people are still wearing them every single day and coming in at a price point of just 55 dollars this is one of the best low price sneakers you can possibly buy and then finally coming in at number one is the Vans Old School. First debuting in 1977, the Vans Old School was originally called the Vans Number 36. The Vans Old School's claim to fame is the iconic jazz stripe that runs along the midfoot of the sneaker. And while a lot of the other shoes that we looked at on today's list have this detail, this is the very first shoe to ever feature it. The upper of the shoe comes primarily in canvas accented by suede on the toe and on the heel of the sneaker. And in my opinion, the Vans Old School is the best and most iconic Vans sneaker ever made. It's very comfortable on foot. It features the padded ankle collar. It's got some premium hits with the suede on the toe and on the heel. And not only that, it's one of the best looking shoes ever made. I mean, I love the look of the Vans Authentic. I think it's a great shoe. I think it's one of the most iconic shoes of all time. But there's something about the addition of this side stripe with the paneling on the toe and on the heel that makes the Vans Old School just one of the most wearable sneakers I've ever seen. And coming in at a price point of just $65, not only is the Vans Old School one of the best looking shoes on the market, it's also one of the most well priced. Honestly, this shoe is one of my favorite shoes of all time. So with that, we pretty much wrap up the entire top 10 Vans list of 2022. Now, I would love to know your thoughts on this list and whether you felt like I left any shoes out or maybe the list was out of order. So make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Once again, if you want to grab any of the shoes that were mentioned in today's video, I've made sure to leave affiliate links to each one of those shoes in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.